Hi friends, it's me, Jenny. We're back for another week. In fact, we're back for a new month altogether. We have some more Bible lessons to go over and I'm so excited that you're here with me. I hope that you are having a good summer and I hope that you're doing a lot of playing outside. This week, we're gonna talk about having a friendship with Jesus and I think that's so fun. I hope that you're ready. Sit down for a minute. It's not gonna take us too long today. I'm gonna go over a few um, scriptures with you and we have a new memory verse. So I hope that you have your listening ears on. Let's get right to it. The memory verse is John 15, 14, and it says, you are my friends if you do what I command. Now that is Jesus talking to his disciples. Let's explore that a little bit more and talk about the verse that comes before it and the verse that comes after it. Jesus says, greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I make known to you. In this scripture, Jesus is telling his disciples that he isn't just their teacher and their savior, but he's also their friend. And that means that even today we can be friends with Jesus. Did you know that that was possible? For our Bible story today, we are gonna go to Luke 10, 38 through 42. And we're gonna learn about two of Jesus's friends. Their names were Martha and Mary. I'll read the story to you. As Jesus and the disciples continued on their journey, they came to a village where a woman named Martha welcomed Jesus into her home. She also had a sister whose name was Mary. Mary sat down attentively before ma the master Jesus and absorbed everything that he shared. She listened closely, but Martha became exasperated by finishing the numerous household chores in preparation for her guests. So Martha interrupted Jesus and said, Lord, don't you think that it's unfair that my sister left me to do all the work by myself? You should tell her to get up and help me. But Jesus answered her and said, Martha, my beloved Martha, why are you upset and troubled? Pulled away by all of these distractions, are they really that important? Mary has discovered the one thing most important, by choosing to sit at my feet. She is undistracted and I won't take that privilege away from her. Martha and Mary were both friends of Jesus and he loved them both. In the story, he was reminding Martha that she didn't have to distract herself with being at his service, but that she could just spend time with him as a friend. And just like Mary and Martha, we can be friends with Jesus, just like we are with our other friends. Of course, we can't invite him to our home for dinner, but we can talk to him and we can pray and we can read the Bible and listen to his words. Actually, when we read the Bible, we're listening to him speak. Friends, Jesus is actually our most important friend in the whole wide world. Your challenge today is to take some time out and pray and thank Jesus that he is a good friend. I hope that you have a good day today. I hope that you remember the story and you go over the memory verse. We'll talk to you in a couple of days and we'll do some more work together. Thanks, have a good day, bye-bye.